Episode 41, Re-Energize Your Focus. Awaken the leader inside. Follow the path of leadership. Never give up. Never stop trying. Get up. Believe in yourself. Not every day is going to be easy, but you've got to challenge yourself. You need courage. Be ready. Stop waiting for it to happen. Go make it happen. Harness the power within. You were destined to be a leader. Follow the path of leadership. Awaken the leader inside. Episode 41. Re-energize your focus. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Dave Rubalcava and I'm your host here at Awaken the Leader Inside. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode. And if this is your first time listening, thank you for taking the time to find our podcast. This show is about your leadership journey and remember, you are never alone. And just as a reminder, we started at Lee Nation. This is your community, A-T-L-I, Awaken the Leader Inside for short. And we are on Facebook. So follow our Facebook group and join our community and let's talk about some leadership. Okay, so let's get started. There comes a time in all of our careers and sometimes in life where we start to lose the energy. And it starts to tax us. It starts to hold us back. And it's a very, very difficult thing that we're going to have to overcome. And I, the, I wanted to share this with you because I recently experienced the same. I recently was talking with my leadership team. And I think we all realize that together, collectively, we've kind of fallen into this trap of where our energy is starting to deteriorate. And we've got to do something about it. So... Let me share something. Let me share something personal that's been happening to me. Ever since I had my knee surgery a couple months ago, it's been about four or five months now, I felt a change. And and the only way I can explain it is that the consistent pain that I felt, and even after the surgery, recovering, the amount of energy that it, it took from me started to affect my mindset. And I realized that I was very passionate about what I used to do before, and I got fixated on dealing with my frustrations, my pain, my physical pain, and I started losing that energy that I needed every day. And I came to realize that because that happened to me, it started to roll down to my team as well. And I think we all could agree as we sat down and we were open and transparent about where we're at as a team that it's affected all of us. And I came to realize it is very easy to fall victim to these traps. It's very easy to allow yourself to be affected by life events. Not only work events, but life events can start to drain your energy and drain your resources to be focused on what you have to do. So in this episode, I want to share a couple of things that we can do, at least three things we can do to kind of get re-get that energy. And I'm going to share with you what I did myself to get myself out of that, refocus, and then come back with energy and passion. So this is the first thing that we're going to have to do, guys, and I want you to really be transparent and honest about where you're at. It's really, really easy to point the fingers and to blame somebody else for it, but at the core of our leadership, there comes a point where we have to really recognize, how did I get to this point? And I will share what happened to me. I allowed something like a physical injury to remove my focus, remove my energy to the point that my only focus was dealing with that, not being successful, not being positive. It was it started shifting. So you can imagine with life events, uh, if you have a family, if you're working multiple jobs, all these things can start to chip away at it. So I recognized what happened to me? I took a hard look in the mirror and said, hey, this is not who I want to be as a leader. This has never been who I want it to be as a leader. But how did this happen? And the reason why this is so important is because you have to recognize what led you to this. In order to change it, in order to never fall back into that, or at least recognize when you're shifting backwards towards that, you got to recognize what led to it. And it varies for all of us. There are so many things that are going on within our lives that sometimes we just get tired. 
Sometimes we, you know, we come in uh, pumped up and engaged for the year and we get excited. And after a month or two, that energy starts to dissipate. That focus starts to dissipate. But the first step is recognizing why. So if you can identify where it's coming from, you'll come to realize you made a choice. Just like I did, I made a choice to focus on things that didn't matter instead of focusing on the things that do. It's a choice, and you have absolute control of that choice. The second tip I'm going to give you guys is you got to choose something to focus on. Now, for me personally, I didn't really have an end goal. I just knew, you know what, every day I come in from this point on, it was like a light switch. And my team will tell you one day it just changed, and it changed with me. As I made a choice, every day I'm going to come in and share passion and and get excited. And I didn't really have a specific focus like this is my goal or accomplishment. The goal specifically for me was I'm just going to come in and play hard every day. I'm going to come in and give everything I have to my team, to my store, and just be the best at who I can be every single day. Now, I'm going to tell you something happened. Within about three days of making that choice, man, I was waking up early again. I felt energized again. My knees hurt like hell still. (laughs) But you know what? I didn't acknowledge that anymore. Yeah, my knees are bothering me. I'm in pain. But today, I'm going to go make a difference. I'm going to go help somebody. I'm going to get the team pumped up. I'm going to sharpen their focus because my focus has become sharpened. You got to choose what you're going to go after because when you make a choice, something happens. And I don't really know how to explain it, but when you choose, like, I'm not going to fail anymore. I'm going to fight today. You continue to do that at a high level, but it's a choice. And as you start to gain energy, as you start to gain momentum and speed and, and shifting that energy, that positive energy, amazing things start to happen because the people around you start to do the same thing. But you got to choose something that you want to go after. It could be something very small like, hey, I just want to be positive today. That's it. Or it could be, hey, I want to take on a new challenge. Or it could be like, hey, I want to be a mentor to start helping somebody else. And you put your energy into something like that until it gets the ball rolling but you still have to make a choice. And when you make that choice, you can start to refocus and harness your energy to move the ball in the right direction. Now, the last piece of advice I'll give you guys is you got to surround yourself with people that are excited, that are energized. And I'm going to be honest with you, they may not be in your department, they may not be in your company, but you got to find people that have that energy Because there comes a point where it's difficult to sustain that every day. But it's like, just like I said before, if you're having a positive attitude, your team gets energized and you can feed off of their energy. So you got to find someone or find a few people that have that same kind of mindset. And, you know, whether it's a mentor, whether it's reaching out to people that have, have, you know, left an impression on you, a positive impression, engage that person or that team because you're going to need that. You got to you got to keep the fuel going and it's so much easier when you find yourself surrounded with people that have the same type of energy and you just feed off of each other. It's something amazing. That's why I love being around people that have that energy cuz I just want I want to be like them. I want to sustain that kind of energy and I want to produce that kind of energy. So those are the three things that you can do, and I want you to know that we all lose energy at some point. I mean, it's tough, it's, it's difficult, but the more comfortable you get at acknowledging when you go through these lows, you'll be able to change that so that you can ride out on a high. And you can ride out and get better at it and stay engaged and keep yourself from having those moments that you fall back. So I just want to leave you with this, guys. We know that it's going to be difficult. We know that we all go through this. You are a leader. You have the power to change that. You have the power to influence energy, but it's got to start with you. At your core, you got to believe in the right energy and the right focuses. And sometimes we have to shift those. And sometimes we have to recognize why we take steps back. But the better you get at doing that, 
you can reignite the fire. But never forget that you have to be passionate about something to ignite that fire. So keep yourself grounded. Keep yourself focused. And most of all, keep yourself energized. And remember, every day you make a difference. And every day you are the one. You are the one that can do this. So stay committed, stay focused, and I'm always here for you. So if you ever need anything, you can always reach me on Facebook, Awaken the Leader Inside One. You can reach out to me on Twitter, Instagram, uh, Awaken the Leader, or you can email me directly at david at awakentheleaderinside.com. But don't forget, join our Facebook group at Lee Nation, and let's do this together. Stay tuned for another episode. Always remember, awaken the leader inside.